For our next skill, we're going to demonstrate something which we've already covered, which is a two-handed tie, but we're going to demonstrate it left-handed. I myself am a left-handed surgeon, and I think it's super important that we demonstrate this for other left-handed surgeons out there. But also, being able to tie knots both right and left-handed is a super important skill for all surgeons to have. Once again, for this skill, we'll need our knot tying board, we'll need our practice string, or you can use suture. Silk ties typically work best. And gloves are optional, but I highly recommend them. It's always best to practice the same way you're going to execute a skill in the operating room. You can use this skill to tie and secure any knot, and most attendings and residents will want you to show mastery of this tie first before moving on to other ties such as a one-handed tie. So to start, we'll place our knot tying board in front of us, and we'll thread our practice string behind the side that has the pen rose drain. Now for me, I'm going to place the blue side of my string on my right side and the white side of my string on the left side. Now the key to making this knot is making L's and C's with our hands. And what I mean by that is for the beginning part of this knot, we're gonna make two L's with both of our hands. And when we move on to the second part, we're gonna make two C's with both of our hands. So what that looks like is if we pick up our strings, the strings are gonna be draped over our index fingers as such and this is how we'll start the knot. Now, since this is a left-handed knot, our left hand is going to be our post, and our right hand is going to be the one that's going to start our movement. So to start, what we'll do is we'll take the blue end of the string that's in our right hand, and we'll cross it over our left index finger to make an X. From here, we're going to pinch our thumb and our index finger together, and what we'll do is we'll rotate our hands so now our thumb is on the bottom and our index finger is on the top. Once again, we'll rotate our hands through with our index finger on top and our thumb on the bottom. We can unpinch our index finger and our thumb and we can use our right hand to drape the blue end of our string over top our thumb. From here, we'll once again pinch our index finger and our thumb together this time with the blue end of our string in between, and we'll rotate our fingers back to where we started, bringing the blue side of the string with us. Now, if you notice, this isn't exactly a square knot. If we didn't cross our strings in the beginning, what we'll have to do is cross our hands here. So I'll cross my hands down to lay a nice square knot. Now, this is just one half of our knot. In order to continue throwing square knots, what we'll have to do is switch from our L's to those C's that we talked about before. You'll pick up the same side of the string in the same hand that you had before, but instead of making L's, what we'll do is we'll make C's with the string draped around our thumb as such. Similar to what we did before, we're gonna take our right hand and cross it over the string that's on our left thumb to make an X. We'll pinch our thumb and our index finger and we'll rotate them through so now our thumb is on top and our index finger is on the bottom. We'll take the blue end of the string that's in our right hand and we'll place it over top our index finger and we'll repinch our thumb and our index finger, this time with the blue string in between and rotate our hands back through, bringing the blue end of the string with us. Now, since we crossed our hands last time, we don't need to cross our hands this time in order to continue throwing down a nice square knot. To continue this, you'll go back to throwing your next knot using your L's, followed by the C's alternating back and forth so that way then each time you're laying a nice square knot. And that is how you do a left-handed two-hand tie.